will discuss how ship floats in water being so heavy. Let's discuss theory of density and Archimedes principle behind sinking and floating. Density The density of a substance tells us how closely the molecules are packed. If the density of the object is more than the water, then the object will sink. If the density of the object is less than the water, then the object will float. Relation between density, weight and volume. Density is equal to weight upon volume. The density of water is 1 kg per liter. This means 1 liter of water weighs 1 kg. The densities of wood, cotton wool and wax are less than the 1 kg per liter. So, these substances float in water. The density of aluminium and iron are greater than 1 kg per liter. So, these substances sink in water. Archimedes Principle Archimedes was a Greek scientist who studied up thrust or point force, which is equal to weight of water displaced by an object. What is up thrust or point force? The force that acts on the object in the upward direction when it is pushed into water. If the weight of an object is more than the up thrust, the object sinks in water. If the up thrust is more than the weight of an object, the object floats in water. Why does a ship float? You must have seen that a piece of iron sinks in water. Then, why does a huge ship made of iron floats in water? This is because the ship is hollow. The volume of water displaced is much more than the volume of iron used in the ship. So, the up thrust is also very high and more than the weight of the ship. Therefore, the ship floats in water. If the same amount of iron used for shape is melt into an iron ball and put in water, then it will sink. As the up thrust acting in the upward direction will be very less in this case. Up thrust greater than weight, object will floats. Up thrust less than the weight, object sinks. Bye bye friends, please like, share and subscribe our channel and don't forget to press the bell icon.